Hey, what's up everybody? JRS PC here with another video and today before we do our pack break I thought I'd do a quick uh, retail pickup um, This is from uh, this past week going to tons of Walmarts and tons of targets uh, and some Fred Meyers uh, And just picking up a little here a little there and accumulating a lot and uh, Some places there's no minimums and uh, but I just you know there would be like I don't know, 30 of these 10s right here, uh, the, the 2021 10. So I would, yeah, you know, I grab like six of them maybe, and then I go to another store and it'd be like 30 more, or 30, 20 more, or whatever. So I grab a few here, a few there, and uh, anyways, um, I ended up accumulating a lot uh, without even kind of realizing it. But I'm happy because I love these things. So anyways, I thought I'd just give you a quick uh, view uh, of what I got. Uh, I hit up uh, several Walmarts today, and every one of them had Heritage Megas finally, which I think are are just so cool because they got the uh, the Chrome, um, the three Chrome cards per Mega, and Megas usually have um, uh, more more uh, parallels and uh, fun stuff in them. Uh, so I got a handful of those; those were forty five a piece. I got a a bunch of the tens. Uh, obviously, I got the whole set uh, for the PC, and then the rest I'm just gonna save uh, for down the road in case these rookies take off. Uh, I got a bunch of hanger boxes of Donruss, found a lot of those. As you can see, um, I really like the Donruss baseball. I don't know why. I hate the no logos, but it's really fun opening them and getting those super cool parallels. Uh, I bought a few of the Heritage hanger boxes, a couple for the PC, a couple to open on the channel. Um, they were 12 or 13 bucks this year, so I, I really like hanger boxes a lot. It's, it's kind of like my favorite... Um, my favorite product to open, don't mind my cat and dog are back there. They always got to make noise when I got the video going. Um, uh, it's probably one of my favorite products to open is the hanger boxes over everything else. But uh, this year they kind of price gouged a little bit. So, uh, And there's nothing guaranteed in them. So I only bought like four. I saw a lot today. Uh, I just kind of passed on them though. I did find one more 2021 Series 1. Um, let's see, I got a couple a couple more Donruss uh, blasters. I think that puts me at like... I don't know, I probably have probably 15 of those. Uh, some more fat packs, I've got a whole bunch of those because uh, I really like those vector parallels. And then I found uh, some some Pokemon. I got a, a handful of packs of these Battle Styles, which, you know, isn't a super popular set for the flippers, which is good for me. Oh, I got a couple of Vivid Voltages in there too, I didn't even know. Um, but I still collect them for the pack art uh, and just to, so I have some to open on the channel. So I got a few there, a uh, bunch of different pack arts there. I got a couple of vivid voltages up I found somewhere, I don't even know where uh, at this point. A couple of these battle styles. These are the, the two pack with the coin and a couple cards. Uh, those were I think 10 bucks a piece. I think I found those at Target. I got lucky found this Charizard. Uh, I got a bunch of these from like a year or so ago. Uh, but it's the Charizard deck and you get two Charizards on the back as you can see on top right there. My camera will focus uh, right there two Charizards in there. Uh, I got lucky today. I went to a store that we never have any luck in, but I just happened to stop by because we are killing time, and I found one Elite Trainer Box of Shining Fate, so that was great. I still haven't opened one of these yet. Um, I have, uh, gosh, I think I bought four one time, a couple here, a couple there, so I got like, I got a good amount of these right now. Uh, a couple to, for the PC, uh, at least one or two to open, and the rest will do uh, random Pokemon pack breaks down the road with, with, with the packs inside. I found this um, about a week ago. This is the, uh, uh, the 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 lunch pail type one, and uh, this one's got two foil cards, uh, five boosters, much more. This one right here was like 25 bucks, I believe. And then I found a couple um, empty boxes of the train ons, and then I found a bunch. Everybody got the train on packs, so I tried getting enough um, at all the stores basically to fill two boxes so I I believe I got I think they come I think they're 10 in the box is what the box usually has uh, so I tried to make sure I had at least 10 per box and I put these in my office and display them with the the first wave of them and then this is another thing I just found uh, everywhere stock today was this uh, darkness of blaze display it's the three packs with uh, the coin and the card and it's got EV Flareon and uh, the whole nine yards so um, so there's that, um, gosh, I grabbed, I probably got, I don't know, five. 
I, and I don't know if Darkness Ablaze isn't popular anymore. I'll fix that in a minute or what. But uh, I probably found five packs at... Or, I'm sorry, not five packs. I probably found a full display at, I don't know, six or seven stores today. So I bought... Uh, one of them wasn't quite full. It had only a handful of packs left, so I bought... The packs that were left in it and I also grabbed the box so I had something to display them in my office because I like I like my office looking like it's a cool uh, card shop or something like that so uh, but I ended up getting enough throughout the whole um, the whole day basically I got all these today uh, really I, and I probably got six or five some uh, I probably just kind of like grab a stack like this every time I find some in a store so I ended up finding some in several stores so I was able to fill a box and I found a handful of battle styles um, and I, again, again, I know they're not a super popular set, um, not a real specialty set like the Shining Fates or Hidden Fates, but it doesn't matter because I'm a collector, not a flipper, so I'll open up some of these and then I'll, I'll keep a couple for the PC, because I can tell all you guys I like to keep at least two of everything, uh, unless it's like pack art stuff, like I'll keep one of each pack art of these single packs and stuff like that, I don't need two. Just enough to like display if I ever decide to display. So that's that, and let me show you what else I got in the office. Hold on. All right, start things off. I got a. Uh, I found this today because you guys know I collect the um, Hot Wheels and all kinds of stuff. Uh, and a big uh, He-Man uh, or Motu Masters of the Universe collector. I found this uh, Battle Cat Monster Truck. So that was cool because it's Monster Truck and it's He-Man. So super stoked to get that. And I end up finding one in one store and one in another store. So I have a backup in case I ever decide to open up one of those. Uh, I found this recently at Target, and I was so excited. It's the uh, the ultimate um, ultimate edition, basically like better better than the elites, uh, which are very collectible. Um, these are thirty dollars. I only found them at Target, and I was so excited to finally see that they have Hulk Hogan back in the line. He was kind of uh, they weren't making figures of him for I think the last several years. Uh, but I was so excited to find this. Um, it's got a couple different faces. It's the NWO, uh, you know, with the boa. I'm more of a, you know, vintage Hulkamania fan. But it was pretty cool. Uh, and it looked really, really good, too. So uh, I had to grab it. They had two of them. One was slightly damaged, and I'm super OCD. So I put that one back and uh, got that one instead. I also met up with Brian from Bear Cards 34 and we did a little trade in the parking lot at Walmart. We felt so sketchy, you know, uh, trading cards in the parking lot. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, he had one of these and I asked him if he would be willing to trade it and he said, sure, what do you have in mind? And I said, well, I still got a bunch of um, mosaic from last year when I when I picked up some at uh, up in Idaho. I said, I'll trade you one of those for, one, for, for yours. And he said, yeah, absolutely. So I was able to get a prism football hanger to add to the PC. Uh, I have a couple. I have a few gravity feed packs, which I showed you guys. I have one mega box. Now I have one hanger. Um, I'm gonna try to get another hanger. I'm also gonna try to get two blasters because I don't have any of those. I never saw this on the shelves, so I never got lucky with it. Uh, I'm not gonna open it. This is just gonna go in the PC. Uh, so I got that, and then I got real lucky today, and I found. Actually, was it today? No, it was yesterday. I found one of these and it was damaged and I was I was so upset because it was damaged and I, and, and I was thinking to myself you know I should have just bought it because I've passed on damaged ones before and I have regretted it horribly because I've never seen them before uh, I never seen them again sorry so this time I regretted it again but luckily I got lucky today I found the whole set at one store and it was at a Walmart again. And here it is. Let me show you guys. I'm so excited. I've been collecting these things ever since the very first wave. Uh, I love the crap out of them. So let's take a peek here. It's the new wave of the WWE Masters of the Universe. Um, Masters of the WWE Universe. Uh, I found the whole set again, which I was so excited about. There's an uh, Ultimate Warrior. Uh, this is his second time in this line. Uh, he was in the very first wave. Uh, and his figure in the first wave is actually worth a little bit. Um, I was able to get a set of those. The only one I, I don't have out of, the, I think, in my entire collection is The Undertaker. And I think I'm going to have to buy it on eBay. Uh, here's another one. There's always four per wave. There's a Stephanie McMahon. I just kind of like do this just so you can get rid of the glare. 
And what I think is fun with this one right here is that they have her as the evil billion dollar skull queen. And uh, I believe in the second wave, uh, somewhere around there, they had her, uh, I'm sorry, they had Triple H, who uh, is her husband in real life um, and on the show, uh, around WWE. Uh, he is the Skull King. So same mask that he wears. It, so I thought that was pretty darn cool. But they made her his queen. Uh, so, you know, it goes kind of hand in hand. Sorry about that blur. Next one up is Kane. And Kane is the one that I found yesterday at a Target, or no, Walmart. And he was damaged. The whole side here was rolled, uh, rolled, and that was going to drive me nuts. But uh, like I said, I've I've learned to just take what I can get and not uh, and not pass on them. Uh, I did that with a rock once. Never found another one for. But then luckily I got one one time and it was damaged as well. But uh, I didn't care. I said I'm gonna grab it just in case I never see another one. And maybe if I find another one, I'll take it and replace it. But uh, I again never found another one of him. And then they got the Goldberg, which was pretty cool too. Um, I like how they're using these vintage guys and the uh, modern guys in the set. And Goldberg is a uh, human jackhammer, kind of like Ram Man. Um, so here's here's a look at the back so you can kind of get an idea of what they all four look like when they're... Here, let me just... Sorry. Uh, when they're... There we go. Just turn my lighting down. Sorry about that. Uh, but here's a good look at them all, what they're supposed to look like with their helmets on and with their, with their uh, weapons and stuff. So... Pretty darn cool. I was pretty excited. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, wait. I have one more thing to show you. Sorry. Hold on one second. I was at Target, um, I don't know, three or four days ago, and I found these. I was walking by, getting ready to leave. I was in the car section looking for cars, and I found these guys. Check these out. They're the uh, Eternia Minis, and they made them on card now. Um, so I don't ever remember Ninjor, um, I don't know if it's something that they just added for this set, but, uh, they're the Eternia Minis, usually you find them in the old, uh, the, um, the castles, uh, they had a Wave 1 and Wave 2, um, and then they made these right here, they, they got a couple cool different ones, this is Evil Human Battering Ram, this is Ram Man, uh, Anti, uh, Eternia, so it's Ram Man, but for some reason he's all in black and pretty cool, because he's Anti Eternia. Uh, I believe there were six in the set. There's Evil Lynn. Looking cool. And, let's see. The last two. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. There's seven in the set. I'm sorry, there's seven in the set. Because you got uh, an anti Eternia Tila. So, and for those of you guys who follow uh, Masters of the Universe, Tila was good. And so was Ram Man. So, to find the anti Eternia. That's that's just you know, and then the last two in the set right there, He-Man and Skeletor, and they did the battle armor, which they did not do, I don't believe, in the regular um, Attorney uh, mini set. So pretty darn cool. And He-Man's got extra white teeth there. I'm pretty sure that is a little too much paint, but interesting. Let's look at the other He-Man and see if he looks just as bad. I got him. In, I still have him in the Target bag here, so. Uh, I don't know. Oh, here he is. I had my hand on it the whole time. Yeah, it kind of got a lot of paint on their teeth, so anyways. <laughs> I don't care, I love them. So there's a set of seven of those things. Uh, let me know what you think about all these new fun toys I found. And let's get into the card break. Let me move these. I got a nice random pack break for you guys today. Hold on one second. All right, guys, and today in this uh, pack break, we got, I don't even know how many are here. Let's see, I got a couple of these right here, the stickers, one from last year, one from this year. Uh, we got some uh, Alan Ginter, 18, again, looking for the uh, Acuna, 19, looking for Fernando, Series 1, uh, fat, uh, 16 card pack from Walmart. A couple more of these right here, looking for the Judge or the Belly. Uh, got the uh, 2020 Bowman, looking for... Yeah, a few guys, Dominguez and uh, Volpe and Paulson, lots of guys. Um, let's see, 2020 Contenders. Open up a pack of Mosaic, pack of Prism NBA, some Chronicles from last year. Super rookie heavy. I found one of these. Uh, it's against my better judgment to open it because I don't have any backups. But I thought it would be fun to open with you guys today. 
Uh, I usually don't open anything until I at least get a couple for the PC. Uh, a Donruss fat pack and a Hoops fat, fat pack. So let's see what we get. Let's see. Let's do. Let's see. Let's mix it all up and uh, just do kind of like a little here, a little there. There we go. All right. Start off with this sticker collection. This is 1920. Looking for the Jaw and the Zion and some of those other good rookies there. Hey, we got a parallel right there. That's pretty cool. Right off the bat, I mean, you get one one card per pack in these, and uh, it's a Golden State Warrior. Cross your fingers, it's a Curry. Alrighty. I hate opening these things. It's so annoying. And it's Draymond Green. Nice parallel out of 99, though. Pretty cool. Bronze parallel, I believe this one is. Uh, very tough to pull parallels out of these, so that's a pretty cool one right there. I'm going to just kind of throw them up here for a second until we replace them with something cooler. There we go. And the rookies. Let's see here. All right, everybody's favorite logos. But I, I really love this design. It's so cool. Uh, Kawhi. Big hands Kawhi right there. Blake Griffin. He's playing over in Brooklyn now. Jimmy Butler and Kevin Love. All right, let's stay with the... Uh, sticker collection here and see what else we can get here I still haven't mastered how to open these without damaging anything <laughs> and it looks like another Jimmy Butler for the card there uh, recently they restocked these and I was finding them everywhere so I bought uh, I bought enough between several stores to have a full box of each so there's the Jimmy Butler Pretty nice cards. I, I really, I really kind of like those cards. Kemba Walker All Star. Uh, right there's another Kawhi. And Jaron Jackson Jr. Dante Exum, uh, former uh, Jazz, and Jamal Murray. That just looks so cool. Those fireworks in the background. All right, let's move these and move on to the next one, guys. If you guys like these uh, random pack break videos, let me know in the comments below. Appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will. I do recent pickup videos. Uh, lately, I've been doing them, and people seem to like them. Uh, so I do recent pickups, and it's, you know, cards and then other things that I like to collect. So that was a Brandon Clark rookie. Hey, LeBron James. And a nice Ja Morant. Oh, no, that's a Brandon Clark. Shoot, I thought that was Ja. <laughs> Cam Reddish. Uh, that's a nice uh, element, I believe. I haven't opened these in so long. This is a parallel. Daniel Gafford rookie pink. I have not um I don't know much about that guy. He came out last year too, so but we got a LeBron. Anytime you get a LeBron, it's a good day. It's like pulling a trout. Alright, let's do Prism NBA. Alrighty, let's see what we get in here. Natalie Damaris. And our Prism is Damaris again from the Lynx. And Stephanie Dolson. No one to write home about. No rookies, but that's okay. I really like those. I got a handful of boxes of those I was able to pick up. Uh, I paid pretty good money for them. I tried finding them at retail, and I had no luck. Hey, there's a Utah alum right there. David Montgomery, Mark Brunel, Chris Conley, and a green of Jared Cook. And then we got uh, Miles Sanders, Got Game, and Zach Moss, Rookie. Add that to the University of Utah PC. The only college team I've ever had any interest in collecting. Probably because they're right here in town. And I guess that's the reason. Security. Alright, let's see here. Let's just do this. Did you guys hear? Julian Edelman is going to the Bucks. I heard that yesterday. I have not officially confirmed it. I heard it from someone. Um, and that, if that's true, oh my gosh. Carry on Johnson, Carson Wentz, and Jalen Hurts, Rookie of the Year. Insert. That's pretty cool. There we go. So we finally pulled something other than the base stuff in that. <laughs> All right, 2020 Bowman. Good set. I only found hanger packs of these right here. Nice Dylan Cease right there. Good rookie off the bat. Nolan Arenado. Sadly, over there in St. Louis, Tristan Casas. I haven't heard of him, but those top, 
10, top 100 are pretty nice. Bob Dalbeck, here's one that tore up uh, minor league baseball, or I'm sorry, tore up spring training. So we'll see what they uh, what they do with him in the regular season, see how he does. Keep Ryan Hayes, another one that's playing real well this year in his rookie year prospect card there. Alvaro, uh, Helio Ramos, both of those are chromes. Uh, let's see, Vladdy Jr., Jack Flaherty, and Alex Young. Okie dokie. Moving right along. Let's find that judge or belly. Haven't found any yet. Let's see if we can get lucky. One thing I like about these is you at least get like a refractor in every pack. So Pat Neshek Prism Refractor. Good signer through the mail. Send it right to the stadium, guys. Xander Bogarts and Matt Carpenter. Beautiful cards. Love them. Gosh, I love Chrome. I wish uh, Tops would get the license back for football and ba uh, basketball, and I wish uh, Upper Deck would get the license back for all of them, too. I always loved Upper Deck. Aaron Sanchez, Carlos Correa, Yoannis Cespedes, and Braden Shipley. So, a uh, swing and a miss, strike two on those two. Uh, still haven't gotten any of the big rookies that we're looking for. All right, so we're getting here. Nemo, off to a great start with the Mets this year. I love Brandon. He signed for me uh, at a Mets game when I went up there in Colorado. Very nice. I got the ball over here somewhere. Uh, Chapman, uh, Kevin Biggio. Uh, I got to get it up here and displayed here sometime soon in my office. Uh, nice Kyle Ripken. Uh, that's the top 70 anniversary uh, of the top traded rookie card. Pete Alonso, weird back. There's a weird back. 2001, I think. Um, tops throwback on the back. <laughs> Pretty interesting. And then the 82 tops traded on the front. Nice Pete Alonzo. Add that to the PC. Actually, I'm trying to build that set. So, Aristides Aquino. Alrighty. Daniel Johnson, rookie. And Santiago Espinal. Ah, oh, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I hit my 1,000 subscribers here uh, a little while ago. And um, I was thinking about doing some live videos. Um, would you guys be interested in coming on, watching live, and just kind of chewing the fat, shooting the crap, and just talking cards or whatever? Uh, if you guys are interested in that, let me know down in the comments. If you're not, no big deal. But I don't want to sit there and do it and then have nobody ever watch. Just sit there and talk to myself for a while. <laughs> All right. Just looking for any uh, no parallels or anything or uh, errors. That error parallel, I guess, are not even really errors or intentional errors, which, you know, it's kind of funny, but... Okay, another security. Jock Peterson is no longer a Dodger. Joey Pico de Gallo. Bryce Harper, my PC man. Dennis Eckersley refused to sign for me. Uh, welcome back to his hotel room in Cooperstown. Uh, actually, there's a few of us. They didn't want to sign for any of us, so... Underwater hockey, I have never even heard of that. Never heard of it. There you go. Pause that and give that a read and let me know if it's interesting. <laughs> uh, opening day, 2018. Okay, so we got our fat packs left. Let's do uh, let's do the, the baseball first, I guess. I didn't even realize I got through those packs so quick. Uh, nothing at all to write home about. <laughs> uh, these are the fun ones, though, I feel like. Uh, let's see if I can get them. Let's just do a quick flip to flip and uh, get them all ready. Kind of halfway, sort of, before we... Before we, uh, there we go. I hate to flip flop all over the place. Noah Syndergaard going into PC. JT Realmuto hit a bomb uh, yesterday against the Mets. Alrighty. You Darvis Devers. Okay. All rise for Aaron Judge. Max Free, Jambi, Shohei. Now let's get to the fun stuff. Keston, Hira. Aaron Judge, Red Parallel again. That's awesome. Jazz Chisholm, Red Parallel. That's pretty darn cool. And there's my Trevor Story. Elite Series. I love these cards. And I believe these are the uh, uh, Vector Parallels. So nice. Just like the, um, uh, what are they called? Uh, Rapture Parallels. Those are so nice too. Luis Patino. Another Cash Daddy, Tim Anderson, Alex Kirilov, one of the better rookies this year, Chef G. Garrett Cole, 
Paul Molitor, Andreas Jimenez, they traded him over to Cleveland in the Frankie Lindor deal. And then Bryce Harper, Diamond King for the PC. And finishing off with the stud going to the PC, Fernando Tatis Jr. I'll open up the hoops first. And then we'll do the Donruss. I haven't opened any Donruss yet because, like I said, that was the only pack I've found so far. And uh, thank you to a couple guys. Jared, my friend Jared, picked them up. Uh, there's only three packs, and he gave me one, gave another guy one, because we are splitting stuff when we find it at the stores. Kevin Knox. All right, Jalen Brown. Ja Morant, second year. Love Ja. Fun, fun player to watch. Hopefully he um, doesn't get injured too often and is able to have a long, decent career. CJ McCollum. Donovan. Love Donovan. That's a cool card right there. John Wall. Kendrick Nunn. Okay, Christian Wood, Mo Bamba, Devin Booker, and here's our parallels, guys. Take a quick peek here. We got uh, Nikola Vucevic, uh, Pascal Siakam, Vanity Plates. Uh, nice LeBron James, lights, camera, action. Uh, Jokic, uh, Rainbow Foil Parallel. Our foil parallel, bleh, parallel, I'm not sure what they're really calling those. And here's our rookies. Uh, Tyler Bay, Theo Maldon. Cole Anthony, Josh Green, Killian Hayes, Aaron Naismith. Nothing super awesome to write home about in that. But we did get another LeBron, so that's pretty cool. And now the Donruss. So let's see. The Hoops has 30 cards. Donruss has 30 cards. And we got, what do we got in this one right here? Look for hollow green and yellow laser parallels. Alrighty. We'll just take our time going through these ones right here. I haven't seen these yet. Grant Williams, Andrew Wiggins. Kevin Love, Lonzo Ball, uh, Gary Harris, Derek Rose, and we got Thon Maker, uh, Langston Galloway, Markel Fultz, CJ McCollum, John Wall, Nikola Jokic, the Joker. Sorry, I was trying to read that before I even looked at the picture and I didn't realize I was looking at Nikola Jokic. Rudy, Eric Bledsoe, Donovan again, add those to the PC, Jay Crowder, former Jazz, um, I thought he was really a good defensive player, miss him there, but the Jazz are doing well without him, Thomas Bryant, Harry Giles, oh, let's get to the inserts here, Steph Curry, uh, right up there with my number one PC, next to LeBron, and then the Joker again, Got a lot of Joker in this. And then there is our green yellow laser, Damian Lillard. Love him. Uh, representing Ogden. He is from, uh, he went to school here in Ogden, Weber State, so that's pretty cool. I live in Ogden. Uh, Desmond Bain. Emmanuel Quickly. Zeke. Sadiq. And the last one is going to be Aaron A. Smith. I think I finished off the hoops pack with him, too. Anywho, not horrible. Um, probably not worth the thirty dollars I would have gotten for the pack had I sold it. But I don't like selling packs; I like keeping them or opening them. So, all right. Well, you guys have a great rest of the day. Uh, and uh, like I said, let me know if you want me to do the uh, the live video. And uh, if you guys want to come over and just do some chatting, we'll open up. Uh, let's see, I just want to keep two of these for my PC. We'll probably open up two of those here eventually too. Um, let me know if you like these uh, retail pickup videos as far as, you know, seeing like any kind of action figures, cars, um, and so forth, so on and so forth. So please leave a like, please comment, please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.